Hi everyone and welcome to our first Steam surprise! Now since this is the first video of this type, I kind of want to clarify exactly what it is I'm going to be doing with these. Mainly it's so I get to play some of the... I have almost 500 PC games, no joke, between Steam and GOG because you know how you just acquire PC games from sales because the, you get them for free or they're just super cheap and you tack them on and you're like, yeah, I'll play that eventually and then suddenly you have a million games in your library that you haven't played. That's my problem. So this is partly for me to play some of the games that I've had for a while and haven't gotten around to. It's also to kind of highlight some of the games that maybe you don't know about and you might be interested in but you want to see more gameplay and I will highlight that we'll we'll check it out together see what it is I want to clarify that just because I call this one you know steam surprise or whatever to my cutesy little name for it that doesn't mean that's the only place it's available it just it's a reference to where I personally have it eventually I also hope to kind of clean up some of the console games that I haven't played yet but as of right now, I don't have a capture card for that. So eventually there will be console games that may be a little bit older too that I haven't gotten around to and have owned for a while. Fewer than PC games. But that's the general idea. So this, what you're seeing right now, is called The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. As you can see, I have started it before. I didn't play it very much. It was when I first got this PC just to test out the graphics. So let's get started. As far as I know, it's a walking simulator, but with a mystery, a specific mystery. So let's see what's happening. Ethan Carter I didn't know, but he knew who I was. When the police won't help you and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon, there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. Okay. Cool. So, what I gather from that is we are looking for a missing boy. Oh my god! What, what the hell kind of forest is this? Where- what? Well, no wonder the boy's vanished. He's probably gotten caught in a, like, Peter Pan trap or whatever that was. Where am I? He's joined the Lost Boys, is my point. Uh, we should probably just leave. We should probably just tell his parents that he- Holy hell. I'm sensing a half moon of- Oh, it's a trap. It's a trap? Is it a trap, really? The spikes in the ground are a trap? Wow, I really needed to use my sense to see that. Okay, sorry, but, but it's too early in this game to be that sassy, I apologize. <laughs> but seriously though, this looks pretty. I would sit here, sit on, well, this isn't a very good sitting rock really, but if it was a little flatter on top I'd sit there and read. Look at how pretty that is. Man, if I had to vanish somewhere I'd vanish here. I don't blame the kid. It's not very effectively closed, is it? Probably shouldn't walk over the gaps. <laughs> I Red walk Creek on the train track. Seem like a quiet, ordinary place. I've learned two things in my life. No place is truly quiet, and nowhere. I don't know. Have you been to there. Iceland? Ethan warned me about that. Warned me not to be fooled by what I saw here. He didn't need to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. Already I knew that. So we're gonna die. Spoilers. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. I wanna go back up to Canada. That... Yeah, that doesn't look good. Just gonna say it. I don't know, lick it. Does it count as murder if it was an animal? Crankshaft. Who? What? I have a crank-powered train? What year is it? 1920? Turn off. Yeah, I don't know what I expected, really. Okay. Hmm. I feel like the clues are on the train track, but I also feel like even with something blocking the tracks, walking on the train tracks is probably not a good idea. I'm gonna go this way. It might block me off if I go this way. <laughs> if I'm gonna be realistic, but I'm gonna explore this way first and see what's over here. Yep, there's impassable rocks. I mean, look at that. There's no way I could get through there. No way at all. What's this? A coffee machine? It looks like a coffee machine. Oh, make up your mind. Is it cut or is it untied? Hmm. Alright. So something was tied here. Two hobbits lay there. One died. Rest of the- oh that's a leg! Oh those are legs! I did not even see that. I did not see the legs. That's an awful lot of blood to come from your- I suppose the femoral artery is down there, isn't it? I don't think you'd be crawling that far if your femoral artery- oh yeah, there we go. Here he is. Here the person is. T touch? You want to touch that? Okay, I can't. Not yet. Hey, that's that's a smart move. Don't touch the crime scene. Just walk all over it. That's better. Ah, uh, look at this. It's lovely. Just gonna go swimming with my no feet. Am I that corpse? Am I secretly that corpse? Or that corpse's ghost? I have no legs. Oh, there's rock collapse. I didn't even notice. I just wanted to go down to the lake. Okay, well, I hope there weren't any other clues that direction, because I'm over here now. So, do I go into the woods, or do I go farther down the tracks, is my question. I think I'll stay on the road for now, before I get lost in the woods. And the farther I walk this direction, the more the creepy music is happening. I, and I don't feel like maybe I'm making a bad choice. I feel like, feel like something's watching me. Something watching me? I always feel like somebody's watching me. Got a... I would say grain silo, but I don't think that's what it is. Just what I thought of first. No trains have been through here for a long time. That was part of a pattern. Large pieces of this country were thrown away, doomed to become, and then remain, the worst versions of themselves. Beneath all that I... rock, dark things grow. I thought the the rot's not the dark thing that grows. It can't have been that They're not that rusty, though. I mean, it's clearly nothing's been through here because these trains are just sitting on the track, but... They're not that rusty, so it can't have been that old. Okay, so now we have a choice of going farther up the train tracks and down the road. I feel like I missed something closer to the train at the beginning. I don't know if that's true, but... I... 
I feel like I'm not meant to be over here yet. I'm gonna go this way though, because it's towards buildings, and I feel like maybe the story will continue if I go into buildings. I've seen every version of people hurting each other, hurting themselves, but we blame it on compulsion, selfishness. Alright, somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. Come on. You can control it. There are things in this world that cannot be named. Well, they can be named, you just can't say them because Lovecraft likes to use consonants. I'm assuming that's where this is going. It's generally where it goes. It's some kind of Lovecraftian thing. We are by the water. And then there's a spooky old house on a hill. Hello. Anyone home? Can I come in? I've been walking for 10 minutes. I need to rest. Anyone? Hello? I'd knock, but you have no door. I invoke the boneless one, the one of voids, destroyer of ships, and he who is feared by the winds. Yeah, it's Cthulhu. Spoiler alert, it's Cthulhu. Uh, put back. There we go. What? Um, I, uh, should I? Sure, why not? Ah! Ah, oh, door? Oh no. Oh, oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Swap what? What? What is going on? You've got to warn me what's happening before I just walk into hell portals. I, where am I? What is... <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, so this is, this is where I came in. Right. Yes, I read that note. And, and now I'm... It's normal? Now we're fine? What the... And now I don't get to do the time travel bit. Oh, I just missed everything. Oh. Look at me getting confused and wandering back to where I'm not supposed to. I thought that was a person. I don't know how or why I thought that was a person, but I thought that was a person. I missed everything in the flashback because I walked through the wrong door. Man. Do I have to read it again? I do. All right. Let's try this again, shall we? Go into the hell door. Let's go into this hell door. Maybe it's not a hell door, it's blue. Maybe it's like a... What? Whoa. What is that? I mean, that room didn't help me much, but... I'm gonna go upstairs now. Am I looking for something in particular? That was a spooky transition. What's this? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I've been in here. Uh, the music's gone. The, mu the music's gone. I don't like it when the music's gone. It's creepy, I don't like it. No, no, music, come back, please. Please? Please? I'm asking nicely. Huh? Okay, I'm getting out of this house. I don't know that I learned anything, but I don't want to do that again. No, thank you. That was enough. That was enough. I'm good. <sighs> Did he get lost in a time loop? Alright. Building number... Wait a minute. What? This was that other house. 
On the day the photo was taken, Uncle Chad was mean, Dad was sad, Mom was mad, Travis was loud, Gramp was quiet. Chad, Dad, Mom, Travis. So I, or the kid, somebody on the end there. One of the end two, I think. I was in this place already, though, when I was trans... What is... What did you do? Oh, my God. What did you wake up? Nothing. I found a room. I walked into it. That's it. I don't have a flashlight. Hmm. What's going on here? Why did I transport to this place before I was here? Through that other house. You can feel it, right? Something, uh... Something coming from the Vandegriff house. Oh, sorry, did I interrupt your monologue? Not permanently, apparently. All right. You need to talk to your son. He was poking around in the old Vandergriff house again. He said he found some secret room. Was that the spooky mm -hmm. house? Yeah, really? Okay, I will go talk to him. Pop, they're getting worse. They keep talking about this thing, this sleeper. I know. What I don't know mm. is if it's real or not. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going Travis, on. Travis, leave the boy alone. I see how you've been looking at him. You don't even know, do you? You have no idea what's going on. Yeah, that's accurate. You have to help mm. us. It's the only way. It wants Ethan. Wait. You're crazy. You've all gone crazy. I thought... Well, is he from here originally? What was that noise? I thought that um I was looking for Ethan because he disappeared from, like, the city or something. Did he disappear from here? Because monsters? Or because creepy, like, time-warping houses? Or whatever happened when I warped to this place from the other house? I mean, that's the mystery, isn't it, I guess? I should stop questioning and just start listening. It's not my fault. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Hmm. Ethan's family blamed him. Whatever it was he'd accidentally let loose, his family was convinced that hurting him would solve their problems. Well, their disturbed minds. What? No. Haunted the quarters was still here somewhere. In the wind. All right. Well, that's been the vanishing of Ethan Carter. I think I'm going to stop it here for now. I may continue this in a future video. I haven't really decided yet. Um, so that's another thing that's going to happen with these. Some of them will just be these kind of one-off things. Some of them will go to series, depending on what the game is and how well I think it will make for a series of videos versus whatever this is this is stuff i need to worry about more than you until i get an audience so thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed maybe you've, you're interested in the story i'm interested in this story though it seems like as with many walking simulators it's a little bit of a slow build up but i am intrigued i want to see what happens Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, check out some of these other videos on screen now and consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!